action. Nigeria rampant oil theft. When you look at that map, what is the worst case scenario you're telling your clients? The worst happen? case scenario that we hope would not happen is this limited strike turning into a regional conflict. At that time, if that ever happens, we're going to look at a very um, weak stock market. We're going to look at macroeconomic um, fundamentals change in emerging markets as well as developments. Sarahun, Michelle, you're in New York, and I have a question. Why now? Why are we drawing the line between chemical weapons as opposed to bombs or other kind of attacks? The Wall Street Journal came out with an article today saying that this is an Iran proxy war and that this is potentially a way to kind of retaliate against Iran. What are your thoughts on that? Well, there's a geopolitical strategy part of it, Michelle. You're absolutely right. But at the same time, the U.S. government uh, put a red line. Now, if that red line uh, was crossed and U.S. didn't respond, that would be sending a message to Iran as well. And Israel is going to be very nervous about that message. That means if nuclear uh, arms, uh, there, which is a, gr a red line, uh, well, if you didn't do it for Syria, what makes us think, Israelis will, will think that, that uh, you would actually help us if Iran goes ahead with the nuclear ambition. So this has to be done. Again, it's not a possibility. It's a probability at this point. It's going to happen within 48 hours. I want to bring it back to Max over here in New York. And Max, is Syria really just an excuse for a pullback? Markets have had double-digit rises. We've been calling for a correction. Is Syria just one factor here? Or how much attention is the market paying to other elements like Fed tapering? And of course, we've got the U.S. debt ceiling, which has reached its limit mid-October. Well, certainly we have an avalanche of potential risks coming the way of global financial markets across September, whether it's the debt ceiling or the German elections or the European forecast, a lot of things being pushed back in Europe ahead of those German elections. That being said, Syria may have been an excuse, but there's also a traditional return to paying attention to geopolitics after the summer is over, mm -hmm. and there's going to be an awful lot, a big wall of worry to climb, and this is yet one more set of bricks on that wall. A big wall of worry indeed. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much.